If you've ever asked yourself how much money your company would lose because of a natural disaster, system failure, or ransomware, then you've already started assessing your risks. Ready to implement a more formal risk assessment process? Here are the four basic steps. First, inventory all your valuable assets, such as servers, websites, and customer PII, and calculate the financial losses your organization would suffer if those assets were stolen or damaged. For example, suppose your company makes $50,000 per hour. If your servers are down for three hours, you'll lose $150,000. Second, identify and prioritize the threats that could compromise your assets. For instance, servers can go down because of overheating or a flood. If your server room is on the third floor, flooding is unlikely, so overheating is a higher priority threat. Third, identify your vulnerabilities and estimate the likelihood of their exploitation. For example, a 20-year-old air conditioning system is a vulnerability that makes it fairly likely your servers will overheat. Last, use those three factors, asset value, likelihood of the threat, and vulnerability of the asset to the threat to determine your risks and find ways to mitigate them. For example, by installing a new AC system, you can dramatically reduce the risk of losing $50,000 an hour because of server downtime caused by overheating. Remember, both your environment and the threat landscape are constantly changing, so repeat this risk assessment process on a regular basis. Check out our blog to learn more about how to get started with IT risk assessment.